So for my uh, dude of the week, I'm going to give it to Mark andre Ter Stegen. I'm giving it to him because he kept a clean sheet against Girona. He was pivotal to get the get the W for Barcelona. So yeah, he had a great game. That dude of the week is so shit. Like what he's doing with this Manchester United team. Eight games on trot. Um, he's proving to everyone that they are um, a change side. And I give him all the credit because all these players were trash on the Mourinho. The dude of the week is Leo Messi. I know he, he doesn't has to be included in this account because look at who's the break of the week for me. Uh, that dude of the week, I'm going to give it to Robin Van Persie, just plain, simple, symbolical. It's just really nice and heartwarming to see a player of his age doing that well, just scoring two goals against Ajax. Uh, my break of the week, I'm not going to give it to a player or a manager, I'm going to give it to Levy. I'm giving it to him because he's a terrible owner and he does not, he is not good for Spurs and he single-handedly has ruined their season by not investing into new players and yeah, he just needs to go. He's a terrible owner. And the break of the week, Mustafi, Shodron Mustafi, challenges, awful positioning, terrible and decision making is even worse. The break of the week for me is Coutinho. Coutinho has got two very easy chances to score a goal apart from very bad performance and he didn't deliver uh, break of the week I'm gonna give it to Tottenham uh, just because it's getting knocked out of two cups in a row like eh, and also Pochettino going out and saying that just being top four in the one of the best leagues in Europe is good N no that's just that's loser mentality right there. My dudes of the week, though, uh, is going to be Atalanta. Uh, that's for uh, coming back, at being 3-0 down against uh, Roma. And um, shout out to Zapata for being a phenomenal player. So yeah, they get uh, dudes of the week for me. And then those dudes of the week has got to be Manchester City because there's no team I can't remember in recent history who can trash things 3-0 um, in the Premier League and still have 4 to use their full team to trash teams 10-0 in, in the cup. So definitely Manchester City for me. For dudes of the week, I do agree with you. Sevilla, they deserve to be. Bricks of the week, I'm going to give to Spurs, even though they have to deal with Levy and his, his bull crap. Um, Spurs are still just, they're having an awful week. Uh, they got knocked out of the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. So they're just... There's, there's no, they're not having a good season at all and just not a good week in general. So yeah, they're my bricks of the week. And that those bricks of the week has got to be Tottenham. Need I say more? And then a uh, match of the week, I got to give it to Atalanta versus Roma. Uh, just because of that comeback from Atalanta. And uh, I do agree with you. The game of the week is Atalanta versus Roma. Absolutely wonderful comeback. Wonderful remontada at home. They're at home. It's it means much more better than a win for them. Uh, match of the week. I'm gonna go with Arsenal versus Manchester United because I mean it was just really interesting seeing what Ole did to Manchester United in such a short period of time. Um, Lukaku with two assists. Who would have said that? Like just a few months ago. Uh, Real nice game. And for me, Spalletti, Pochettino and Valverde. Uh, you need, they need to go to you and you need to check their files, whether, whether they need to stay or you maybe send them to the break academy because uh, I have no, I can't do anything with them anymore. And yeah, those are my picks for this week. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for listening and um, hope to see you guys next week. Yeah, take care. So yes, yeah, so that's it for me. Um, thank you and see you later. Bye. On um, the game of the week, um, I have no idea.